Today's spotlight is on Telestream, and we've got a special guest. We're going to look at NDI and House of Worship from Telestream. Our special guest here is Shane Scrimmager. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Shane from Telestream. Uh, background in pre- and post-production, so coming from the House of, House of Worship world, I was behind the camera, the lighting, and wrangling all the capture cards and cords. So this is an excellent topic to be bringing up, especially in the House of Worship in DI November. Cool. Now, one of the things you just mentioned was capture cards and cords. So I want to bring up the number one NDI feature of Wirecast I think is so great for House of Worship is you don't need capture cards, which means I can use an iMac, I can use a MacBook, I can use a Surface, I can use a, 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 a PC laptop, a MacBook Pro, a Mac, because all I need is my network connection. The other devices will be hooked up through the network. And I think that's just really, really big and important because oftentimes in a, a house of worship, the computer tends to be something that was donated by somebody or something that was used for other purposes and other reasons that ends up now being the streaming computer for the production. Now, Wirecast, PC and Mac, two flavors, Studio and Pro. And from an NDI perspective, perspective the two advantages of Pro for house of worship that I see are the built-in PTZ control and the NDI output. And when you add the PTZ control with NDI, that means I can have a PTZ camera in the church. It's plugged into a network jack that the church probably already has. I don't have any capture cards in my Mac. And from my Mac, not only can I run the service switch, bring in lower thirds, titles, and graphics, I can actually control that PTZ camera. So let's talk about some of the places that, some of the churches that are actually using Wirecast today. Just for an example, some of the best shots in maybe a cathedral or in a newer uh, church or house of worship is up on a rig or on a pillar and without a camera operator. We're running you know, one cord to the camera. That camera is now powered with full control, sending Wirecast the audio and video. But now we have that optimal shot on that rig, on that pillar or on that easeway looking and kicking into the shots. So the camera control in Wirecast, the video and audio feed broadcast quality, it's just simplifying all of these, what used to be traditional workflows. Let's jump into the NDI hardware, the, 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 the Wirecast gear though, because if you're really gonna push Wirecast, and now I'm talking about you know multiple cameras, a whole lot of different streaming going on and encoding going on and a whole lot of effects and stuff, you're really gonna be a little bit better served with a dedicated solution like the gear than just, it runs great on an iMac, it runs great on a laptop, it's great that you can do that stuff, but when you really wanna push it, what I really wanna talk about a little bit is the 420. Why is it worth that extra money? And especially within an NDI world, I think that Quadro card is so key. Anytime we, we bring up the, the topic of NDI, we first think of cameras. So, you know, a four camera shoot is optimal if you have the choir, the uh, instructor, the pastor, and we're doing multiple angles, even even the guests or the congregation. Yep. But NDI also opens up the ability to bring in remote presentations, remote guests. If we think of all of these as sources, we're up to six sources right there. We're yeah. gonna need some horsepower. All these come with Wirecast Pro, so you're gonna get NDI in and NDI output, but we just wanna, we don't wanna spend so much time on the product because we really wanna jump into something very cool and I think we're kind of breaking it on this show, and that is is that we have a brand new production bundle from the folks at Bird Dog that includes the Wirecast gear. It includes a Netgear 4250 NDI switch, three PTZ cameras, and a PTZ controller. And if you're a house of worship and you buy this bundle, you're done. You just have to add wires and screens. Cool, if you've got some more questions about this bundle, give us a call, Adam or Oliver, anyone on our team will be happy to work with you. And if you're really getting into some crazy configurations where maybe you need three or four more cameras, no sweat, we could do it. And if it's so crazy that you stump us, we're gonna bring Shane in on the call himself to help us configure your system right for your church. Talk to me about NDI5 in a general perspective and what it means for Wirecast users. The feature function enrichment that NDI5 came out with was we all know NDI is over the network. So we are still confined to the same network. But NDI 5 shattered that. We now have NDI Bridge, which essentially makes the connection from NewTek. So anybody, anywhere, anytime can bring in a mobile device, a computer, a camera from any location and send that over the internet to Wirecast Gear. NDI Remote is a, another feature function in NDI 5. And again, that's more specific to anything over... Uh, an internet connection 
or URL based. So webcam, iPhone, iPad, Android, all of these things can now be brought in from any location. If I had a Wirecast gear running, let's say in the downtown church, and then I had another church that was, you know, on the outskirts of town, maybe for, you know, some of the more rural folk, but both churches now could actually have their full worship ceremonies together. So I could be at the church that's in downtown and I could bring in the camera on the preacher from the rural church at the same regards that the guy in the rural church says, I love your choir. You guys do this song so much. We're trying to sing it, but let's have you guys bring it in. I can bring that in. And the beautiful part about it is, is with Bridge, I get to control what I want. Your inputs become my inputs. Bridge is at its infancy, but it's going to blow down some doors and really blow some people away. And, you know, it's not a cloud-based solution, but it is over public internet solution where everyone's Wirecast, TriCast, or whatever it is becomes a node in a mesh where everything can speak to everything. It's just, you said it best. We're taking it out of the land and we're taking it to the whole world. Any workflow, any hardware software incorporates NDI. So it doesn't have to be all uniform. That's a great point. Now we use uh, web capture all the time to bring in people from Zoom and from Teams. And I love that integration that uh, Wirecast says, talk a little bit about the NDI tool, specific uh, desktop NDI and web capture. With the webinar integrations, basically, we can now, the uh, there's a few handful of them that will generate an NDI feed. So we've been talking about traditional workflows of on-site camera, and setups and connections, but now we can pull in webinar uh, applications, NDI feeds, so we can like detail out the guests of that webinar. Also, Wirecast can push back to those applications. So instead of just doing, a, 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 say, a talking head, I can use Wirecast's full production capabilities and bring in video playback, presentations, remote guests, and myself, and just really raise the door on that production of what would normally be just a webinar. Let's say you're wanting to work with a couple who's going to get married in your church, but they're not in your church yet. You can set up a Zoom or something, bring it in with Wirecast, maybe their family wants to come in, and you can go through some stuff, and it's not that same boring talking head. If you want to go over and review some, some documents you want to review with the couple, or perhaps you want to bring in some graphics or stuff, or maybe you're just doing an education piece where someone's actually been someplace on sabbatical or something, maybe they're in a foreign country, you can bring them in and they can talk to other people. And unlike a webinar that's one way, a rendezvous, just someone coming in, you can really have that full interactivity as if you were in a conference, but you have that added value, that added production value that a Wirecast can give you that just makes something like that so much more engaging. And if you want to, you can have your Zoom thing going on between the people and still stream it out to the public on wherever you choose. One of the things that we wanted to talk about is just the flexibility, scalability, and hybrid uses of NDI. So this is the whole chart of all the stuff, which is kind of, bring it up full screen. I don't want to read the whole thing. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and let people kind of look at it and see, you know, it's Sunday service, weekly Bible study, counseling, meetings, outreach. What I really want to do is I want to go back to Shane because you've done this. It's not just you're a Wirecast guy. You've done this for many churches, local churches, as a volunteer, as an expert, as whatever it is. So just talk about the actual it's a Sunday, you're gonna do a service. Walk us through right. what that's like as the operator. It's a very straightforward approach. Everything has been set. We've already chose our camera positions. I already have an idea of the message from the pastor. We've already kind of, let's just say, we've done our pre-production. So the only thing I'm really doing is firing up Wirecast, making sure my logos and lower thirds are all in place. Uh, whatever third-party worship software I'm using with scripture coming in. That's all set up. And essentially what I'm doing is just drinking the last bit of my coffee and going into what I call listening mode. As the producer, all I'm doing is listening to the message and transitioning from shots or presentations or different camera angles. And I'm trying to relay the pastor's message or feel for the day by using Wirecast and transitioning through shots, presentations, scripture, and really, it's, it's actually awesome because the Wirecast producer is the one actually delivering the visual message to all the congregation who's watching. It's, You're it's telling the story, awesome. right? You're telling the story. It's, it's a very mm -hmm. rewarding thing to do when you do it right. And one of the things that I like to stress with Houses of Worship is, is some streaming applications that are not Wirecast 
really take training and get, you, you really need not just sitting in front of it and doing it, but you need a lot of hands-on training to really be able to operate it. Wirecast is the opposite. Anyone who's ever done anything, either in a Microsoft application or on a iPad, I mean, it's so intuitive on anything that goes there. So I like to tell people, like, if Shane, if you were the person who set all this up in your church and you had someone's son who was in high school who was interested on in this, who wanted to do this, you probably could have him shadow one show with you, and by the next Sunday, he could run the whole thing by himself. And that is that ease of use that Wirecast has. It's a straightforward approach. It's a straightforward interface, but it has full broadcast workhorse capabilities. So like you were saying, yeah, you could easily have someone, a volunteer, or someone who's interested in learning sit in on one production and not only be able to run that church's uh, production or live streaming show, but they could also take that away. It's it's an invaluable kind of lesson or skill set to have, especially nowadays. Yeah, and I know you know we've done some bundles before, and it's a nice little practical X keys controller. I like having that when it's for a house worship, especially because you, as the let's say lead producer can pre-program the whole show. So you can actually train someone to say, you know, you just go through these six keys in order. And whenever it's this, you bring up this, whenever it's this, you bring up this, you can label them nicely. And the person can switch the show literally without ever having to look up. I think a lot of people, when they hear NDI, think of other brands of products. I want people to think of Wirecast because you guys have been NDI aware, NDI optimized from the beginning. You're really leveraging NDI. The stability of NDI with Wirecast is fantastic. The Wirecast gear as a platform is incredibly stable. The Wirecast software able to work on a Mac or a laptop opens up a whole world of possibilities for a house of worship. Focusing on NDI, the biggest takeaway today is you, the congregation has any means to bring in any source now, off-site or on-site. And that is the takeaway today, is usually the house of worship or the congregation is limited to the brick and mortar or the, the, the establishment itself. Mm -hmm. We are content producers now. We stream. So that congregation's message is available worldwide. Take advantage of that. We can NDI in, we can NDI out, you can stream that and using all of those possibilities to essentially take that congregation's message and a habit be worldwide. And I know that comes down to tithing and other things. So um, things have Absolutely. been a little rough in the last couple of years. They are opening back up, whether it be virtually or physically, and just make sure you're taking advantage of that and knowing that you're not just limited to your congregation. You can outreach socially and every other which way. And you know, I just think NDI, ironed all of those wrinkles out of those workflows, whether that's incoming NDI sources or outgoing NDI sources. Wirecast is the easy button for all of that. Happy to dive into those workflows anytime. Wirecast really does simplify the house of worship productions, whether it be connecting cameras, bringing in sources, or choosing your deliveries. Wirecast is the easy button on those workflows. I agree, and I, I have a saying for the last couple of years, you know, in 2020, if we were a house of worship, we made streaming work. That's all we tried to do is make it work. People could not come into our houses of worship. We had to deliver our message. We were not gonna stop being spiritual, leaking out with our communities, and streaming made it possible. In 2021, we made streaming work better, look better, and easier. And I think what we're gonna see with things like NDI and where we're going in 2022, we're gonna see these things become remote operated. We're gonna see them be more collaborative. And I think a lot of this stuff is gonna happen just automatically where you're not, you know, you, you don't even have to say, it's just gonna happen. And it's not gonna be magic, but I think that's where we're evolving to. The other cool thing about Wirecast that I wanted to mention is, is you can download a trial version to put on any laptop or PC laptop or computer, Mac or PC, so anyone you want to bring in to learn how to use it can play with a trial version and fool around a little bit and get a little familiar with the with the interface, which is very unique in streaming. This is a product that every house of worship should definitely consider doing. Shane, great show. Thank you so much for coming on. NDI November. So we got prizes to give out, including a full version of Wirecast Pro is one of the giveaways for people who sign up. So go to the Video Guys website, sign up uh, with the bump. We'll give you all the details and all that. Shane, thank you so much. Peace, love, happiness. Thank you, Gary. Pleasure to be here.